You know, and insurers, and I deal primarily with the insurance and financial markets, look at these demographic trends. You know, I go back to the point that we are a pig in a python as far as the baby boomers go. They look at us and they say, here come 80 million new consumers that are going to need retirement income products. We've been selling them deferred acquisition products, accumulation products. They're going to want to turn those into retirement income. That means annuities, annuities, and more annuity sales. That's the obvious opportunity. But when you really take a step back and look at America's demographics, and remember that there are three generations of consumers coming behind the boomers that are cumulatively much larger than us 80 million baby boomers, they represent new consumers who will need new life insurance policies, property casualty policies, homeowners policies. They'll be working and be covered by workers' comp policies. It's those opportunities that are often overlooked simply because we boomers have been commanding the attention of the markets for so long. Of the three generations that follow the U.S., the uh, Gen Xers, Gen Yers, and one which Booz Allen called Generation C for Connected, that may be the most important one. They're connected because they were born from 2002 onwards. They're the first generation of Americans born into a fully internet-connected world, one that's online 24-7, 365. That generation is already larger than the baby boom generation was at the same period in its development. In fact, in 2007, Generation C surpassed the number of baby boomers born in their biggest year, 1957, by 100,000 births. What that means is Generation C is really representing a new bump in this pig in the python uh, metaphor. These consumers are going to be entering a few years down the road, a few years from now, looking to get their driver's licenses, being added to mom and dad's auto insurance policies. A few years later on, they're going to be going out, getting their own apartments, buying their own cars, eventually getting married and settled down. They're very, very important. They represent a whole new wave of consumers for life and, and property casualty products. Of course, eventually, they will start accumulating retirement uh, savings and need to turn that into income. That's why when you look at the demographic trends driving the markets and affecting insurers in particular, we're really looking at an ongoing future market for retirement products as, as boomers, Gen Xers, and Gen Yers continue to age, and ongoing sale of life and property casualty products as Gen Y and Gen C move through the life cycles.